On the route of Amtrak's Coast Starlight in Redding, California is the halfway point of the journey at Gervan Siding on the Union Pacific Valley Sub. Once again, I'm in Redding to do some rail fanning with the NorCal crew. Here's a rail fanning tip. Always keep a scanner handy, because in areas where there's no grade crossings, trains can really sneak up on you, like this guy did. Being a part of the main line between Central California and the Pacific Northwest, the Valley Sub is a great place to see mixed manifest trains and on another day, we caught this southbound rumbling through town. Moving south to Anderson, we see a signal displaying a double yellow. Given the track layout and the circumstances that afternoon, I'm going to assume that this is UP's version of an approach to Virgin, but I'm not 100% sure. Signal aspects aren't really my strong suit. Either way, the reason for the signal being lit soon becomes clear. A headlight and the sound of a horn indicate a southbound BNSF detour train is coming our way. During September of 2021, BNSF was sending their trains over the Union Pacific Valley sub due to many of the bridges and tunnels on the BNSF Gateway sub being destroyed by the massive Dixie Fire, which burned for three months in Northern California. Despite being rival railroads, at least Union Pacific allows BNSF to detour over their tracks and vice versa in a time of need, for a nominal fee, of course.
Once the BNSF train had passed us, he was put into a sighting, and for good reason. A very important train is coming northbound, and the dispatcher is getting all other trains out of its way. It's the highest priority freight train on the Valley Sub, and is known simply as the Hot Z. And boy, does this train sure put on a show. After the Hot Z had blasted through town, the dispatcher was able to let lower priority trains back on the main line, such as the southbound I-Train, which was just getting back on the move when we found him. Being a relatively busy single-track main with passing sightings makes the Valley Sub quite interesting from an operational perspective for a guy like me who's used to the double-track main lines we have here in Southern California. A huge thanks to Alan Gary for taking me trackside while I was there to get these shots. For now, I'm Train Track Trav. I'll see you trackside. Thanks for watching.